Hey everyone, so another vlog day. It is a Saturday and today is the big day where I'm getting together with all the groomsmen and we're gonna go get our tux fitting, so that should be exciting. Kinda nervous, I don't know what to expect. In my mind, I'm gonna walk in, they're gonna give me a tux and I'm gonna walk out and be like, yay. <laughs> I know there's some decisions that have to be made and that's why we're bringing Sierra along because I am not prepared for said decisions. A lot of people in the groom's party, that's what you call it, um, they've never met. So it's kinda like three big parts of my life Kind of, you know, school, childhood friends, and then, you know, uh, Sears Brothers I mean a big part to me, so. Everyone's gonna be, be meeting everyone, so that'll be really cool. So we're gonna go to the tux fitting, and then we're gonna go to dinner, which should be a lot of fun. We're going to Carl Strauss, big brewery in San Diego. So to get the day started, though, I need to head down early. I'm gonna go pick up Carson from the airport. He uh, flew down from the Bay Area, somewhere in that area. Bella is excited for the day as well. She's gonna get her tux. Oh, wait. Bella wears dresses, not tuxes. How silly of me. But it should be fun. The uh, wedding is slowly coming closer and closer. It's kind of strange. I still think it sounds really far away, but Siri's like, holy cow, it's so close. And I'm like, yeah, it is, huh? It sounds like it's far away still. <laughs> but I'm really excited. It should be a lot of fun. Woo, hello, hello, vlog. I'm pretty sure Steven started the vlog this morning. He left a few hours ago and I have been filming. I try to coordinate when I need to sit down and film on my own when I also have something else I have to do that day so that I do my makeup for a reason. So today I was filming the talking portion of that like inside the dressing room video that I vlogged yesterday. So I've got my whole little setup back there, my camera, my microphone, my lights. And I just finished. I finished a little bit early, which is great. So I've got about 30 minutes until I need to leave to go pick up Kenzie and meet everyone at the tux fitting. Ugh, filming puts me in such a good mood. I just get like so excited and happy and like, ugh, I love it. I love YouTube and filming and it's so great and I'm just in such a good mood and I'm so excited to go help them pick out their tuxes. Also, how cute is this romper? I got it when I went shopping yesterday and I'm pretty sure it's like my new favorite thing. Like I'm probably gonna wear it like every day. Okay, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do before I go pick up Kenzie. So I'm dressed. My makeup's done, I have the vlog camera, I filmed. Oh, I could walk the dogs and then I'll put them away and then maybe if I leave on time, I can get Starbucks. So we're at the tuck shop. Kenzie's here, all the guys are here. We're down in San Diego trying to figure out what we want Steven to wear and what we want the guys to wear. And like I said earlier, I'm trying to kind of like step back and let Steven take the lead on this. And when I said that, literally everyone burst out laughing. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so now here's a good question. What's the difference between the tux? Is this a tux? Yes, yeah, so this is a tux. So the tux you got, you got, you got the, the satin difference? line right here, the okay. covered button, you got the little right there. And then it also has like a little line down the leg. I like the white shirt under it versus the black though. No, yeah, no. The black is too like James Bond. Yeah. It's hard to take it seriously with the shorts. That's the outfit right there. You see the money on the pants? There. Oh, that, see that's a good look. I mean, I think you would have it like a little... Oh, it's pretty tight actually. I thought it was like, sticking out. Well, what do you think? Gray? Yeah, try the gray suit. Because it's very different. So then you'll know if you like this. Alright, Steven, let's see the gray suit. I like the clean black better. I like the black better too. I think it's a better look for you. It's more wedding-y. This one is actually literally a wedding suit. Yeah, I'll try that before. Market it as. Ooh, I like that on you. Turn this way. Yeah. yeah, I like the dark gray better than the light gray, but what do you think of this versus the tux? Versus the black? Yeah. It kind of has a little more character to it. So for that, I think you should do the vest then, if you're gonna do the gray, because it's a little bit less formal. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, no, I definitely, I, I like my vest. So, let's, could we try it on with the vest? So we are getting all the groomsmen fit, we're getting Steven fit, and we're getting my dad and Steven's dad fit. So it's a total of nine people, a lot of people to get fit for tuxes. So what kind of suit are you thinking you're gonna go for? Well, I was leaning towards green, but Jordan's really pushing me to red, so uh -huh. I can't miss it. And I might mix and match, a little green That would be good. You're like a Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm not, not a classic green and a classic red, something a little more contemporary. Yeah. Oh gosh. Don't tempt them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Turn this way. Look at you. So when it comes to colors, it's... That's what we were just talking about. He thinks that you shouldn't do colored. I definitely do feel more crisp. Yeah, it's it's promy. Yeah, but so for the tie, would he want to do a bow tie or a straight tie for that? I mean, for that one, it's your call. Works it with. I like ties. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like the idea of you doing the tie and then the guys do bow ties. Do you have tucks? Oh my gosh. 
I think that's the first time anybody's ever asked me that. Yeah. I brought Every my dress. So. Yeah, we have her dress, so we can match it. Which color is it? Um, do you wanna grab it? So it's like, uh, I think it was called like Under the Sea or something. Blue, what? Beyond the Sea, that's what it was. Oh yeah, because you guys have all the same colors, right? Yeah. That makes it easy. What's really cool is the place that we're getting the tuxes is like the sister store of where I got my dress and the bridesmaids dresses. So all the colors and the color schemes are like exactly the same, so we're able to perfectly match the bridesmaids dresses with like the groomsmen tie and pocket square, which makes it super, super easy. Like we don't have to worry about like color matching, it's just like automatic. So nice. So now Kenzie is in her bridesmaid's dress and Steven's brother Mikey is putting on one of the suits that we're thinking for the groomsmen. That way we can make sure it matches and kind of compare the colors and make sure everything's good. So Mikey is in his. Oh, he's getting the pocket square, all right. All right, turn around, big reveal. That looks so good. I love that. What do you think, Steven? I like the blue. I like the blue. It's the perfect amount of blue. I think the vest would be too much. Yeah, I think that looks super great. What do you, groomsmen, what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Yeah, I like it. Thumbs up. Jordan? I feel strongly about it. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we figured out what everyone's gonna be wearing, now we have to get everyone measured and put into the system, which takes a little while. And then our dads are trying to figure out what they're gonna wear. My dad wants to just go with the plain black tuxedo. And I guess he already actually owns a tuxedo, but he wants to rent one anyways. I guess he wants something different. And then Steven's dad, Jim, is trying to figure out what he's gonna wear. He's thinking either black tuxedo or like a black tuxedo with the like navy blue vest. We're trying to debate if we should go across the street and get Starbucks and leave the guys up to their own devices. We shouldn't. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, you too. We literally have the same thing, except mine is unsweetened and hers is sweetened. Kenzie and I decided to trek over to Starbucks. We couldn't wait anymore and they were getting measured, so I was like, the whole thing can't fall apart that much with me being gone for like 15 minutes. It was literally across the street. We were joking. We're like, we're gonna get back and the whole thing's gonna be up in flames and they're gonna be standing there in hot pink tuxes. Wouldn't be surprised. Honestly, I wouldn't. Jordan's pushing for the hot pink tux. So Kenzie and I went over to Alfred Angelo next door since they're still getting measured. And I think I'm gonna order my veil because in the last vlog, or I think two vlogs ago when I was here getting my alterations done, I found a veil I liked, but I didn't want to order it because I wanted to look on Etsy. And on Etsy, honestly, all the ones were like double the price and like not as cute. So I'm just gonna order it here. And Kenzie and I are trying to decide if I should go veil or flower crown. I like the veil, Kenzie likes the veil, but the flower crown is what I said I always wanted, but I also feel like it's kind of basic. So I think I'm gonna go with the veil. So just imagine me in a wedding dress with this instead of a romper. I like the lace too. I like that a lot. See, I think you should just wear that to my wedding. Show up in a wedding dress and the veil. And that. And that. There you go. Wear white. <laughs> They're having a trunk show this weekend too, so there's a bunch of accessories out. So we're definitely keeping ourselves busy while the guys get measured. Things like this that wouldn't nestle right there, but what I was also thinking too that might be cute is uh -huh. actually tucking it on the side right here. Yeah, that's so what I was thinking. So you still see it in the front. And right, then, and then it doesn't interfere yeah. with the veil. What I would do in this type of situation is just set it up about right here. Okay. You see, so it peeks out in the front just a little bit. Uh huh. Perfect. I know we have to a successful fitting. Yay! Oh, we're all doing it. Yay! So we are at Carl Strauss with everyone. We're having some beers and we're about to have dinner. Pretty much everyone is here. We've got a big group. There's like 15 of us that are gonna be here. My mom and Austin are on their way because Austin had a game today. And then he actually has another game later tonight. So he wasn't able to get fit today, but he's just gonna go get his measurements taken another time. So it's fine. Thank you. Kenzie and I are splitting the tree hugger mac and cheese. It is so cute. Kenzie's boomeranging it, but I don't even have my phone, so I can't even Snapchat it. But it looks so good. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, in what world is this a side Caesar salad? That's literally a piece of lettuce. <laughs> uh, supposedly it's a side Caesar salad. salad. But it's, yeah, uh, it's just lettuce. a piece of lettuce. So at least we each get a, a, a lettuce. <laughs> yeah, right here. Literally, here's my lettuce and here's your lettuce. <laughs> I'm trying to wash my hands in the bathroom, but it won't work. Like, it doesn't work. So Kenzie does a little motion sensor. Friendship <laughs> goals. Friendship goals. Wait, what the heck is this? A sana so wait, you put your arm here? Yeah. That is a strange contraption. So we wrapped up at the brewery. Kenzie and I got in the car and we were both like, I'm so tired. Like I'm literally wiped. I'm exhausted. 
it has been a long day it's about 7 30 right now so i think we're just gonna drive back from san diego it's probably about an hour drive right now because there's probably a little bit of traffic and then just have a low-key night and steven's still at the brewery talking with some of the groomsmen and just hanging out so time to hit the road it was definitely a productive day i'm so glad that we got all the tuxes done it took like four hours which is just crazy i don't know if the store was slow or we had a lot of people or whatever it just took so long but we got it done and that was another big thing to check off of the wedding planning list so yeah it's all coming together really really well and i'm just really excited and i really like the suits that they chose all right so we uh, got home a while ago. I was just about to hop back on the vlog and then I noticed that our freezer was left open. Oh no. Prime suspect is Sierra this morning since she was in the freezer making some vegan sausage this morning. So I am going through and checking things out. So I was gonna throw away everything. Like boxes are just super soggy, but I always buy some frozen dinners for like those moments when I don't wanna cook and Sierra's not here, so. But I was looking at it, so the box is soggy. But now the food is completely frozen, so I think we might be in the good. So the frozen dinners, check. Um, ice cubes still melted, so maybe things aren't bad. Everything in here is soaking wet and the fridge is just like falling butt. Um, what is this? Veggie egg rolls? See, I don't know. Questionable. When it comes to food, questionable means, see, man, this thing is calling booty. There's some weird sounds going on back here. So we're watching Fantastic Beasts, and I'm a Harry Potter fan. Steven is not a big Harry Potter nerd. Uh, Steven, what did you just ask me? Uh, for starters, I don't know anything about Harry Potter. But I heard, or were you saying that, oh wow, this one character was this one character the whole time. So I'm trying to think, and that looks like Professor Snake. Professor who? Probably Snape. I don't know. There you go. Snake, Snape. Snake. It really just sounds old. Okay. This was like 40 years before Snake was even born. Oh, okay. Snake is not alive. Ooh, girl, that hair. We finished Fantastic Beasts. What'd you think? I actually really liked it. I thought it was great, and it was my third time seeing it. Third time's the charm. So now, Steven, the whole time we were watching, was looking up ways to fix the freezer. Yeah, he found some website that said to use a hair dryer to try to defrost the fan. So that's what we're gonna spend yeah, our Saturday theory, night doing. My current theory is that the blade has ice on it, and as it rotates, it vibrates, and hence the sound. Well, let's let's try it. This is real life right here. Sierra and Steven in real life. It might be working. <gasps> it worked! It worked! It's not making a sound anymore. For now. No, 100%. We'll have to give it some time. It's on. And the worst part is, the worst part is too, I literally went to Costco like two days ago and got like a ton of stuff. Before that we had like nothing in the freezer so it wouldn't have even mattered. So you think it's gonna work? Yep, no, it's 100% work. The fan's on and it's not making sounds. Good job. That means my theory was correct. You're such a good handyman, mm -hmm. I love you. We just did our timing for tomorrow and we had to wake up early. Okay, you have to wake up early. I don't have to wake up early. I have to wake up early so we can go to Disneyland. Yeah, Steven's waking up early and he's gonna work tomorrow on Sunday before dance. That way he can come to Disneyland with my family on Wednesday instead of going to work. So luckily his job lets him kind of like move his hours around as long as he gets like the 40 hours done. To a certain extent, but yes. Yes, so you gotta work tomorrow and wake up early so we can go to Disneyland. Yeah, it'll be worth it. I'm gonna be a sleepy little bug in bed though. Yeah. You can let me sleep in, right? Yep. I was supposed to sleep in today and the dogs woke me up. They were barking so oh, much this man, morning. Oh man, they were going crazy. I was trying to sneak in some PS4 in the morning, but nope, they nope. weren't gonna let me. Mm -hmm. See, it's, it's good for everyone when I sleep in. You play PS4, the dogs sleep, I sleep. This is true. Yeah, so I think that's where we're gonna end the vlog. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.